So there's the box of shoes. It was supposed to be just one pair of shoes, but why not get three pairs instead? I think that's how many she was able to fit in there. Yeah, that's what I squished in there for her. <laughs> okay. So hope you enjoy your pairs of shoes. Um, I guess if you don't want the other ones, you can give them away or donate them or I guess that'll be up to you. But you're getting three. All right, guys. We are here in the resale room. We're starting to move some of this stuff out of here, and I thought I would offer up to uh, you guys here on the YouTube channel a chance to purchase some of these items we have here. A couple of you have bought stuff from us over the past couple of days, so I thought, you know, why not give you guys a chance to do that? So we got a ton of stuff in here that we have to we have to go through and get gone, and we're going to try to sell some of it off. We're going to try to sell it all off to go towards the house fund. As most of you guys know, we are in the process now of, of trying to work out a deal to where we can buy our our first home. We've had bad experiences with uh, the past two landlords that we've had. The first place we lived in for over seven years, and it was just a bad deal. Um, it's real hard to get landlords to fix stuff sometimes, and by the time it was all said and done, we had plywood laid throughout the house to cover up holes just so we could move our stuff out of the house. It was kind of a bad deal. Uh, I won't get into much of that. You guys, most of you already know the story. So anyway, that's what we're doing now. Is we're, we're trying to sell stuff off to raise money for that. That's the idea of all this. And while I'm on the subject, I want to thank you guys who have donated to us uh, through PayPal and uh, also GoFundMe. And while I'm on that subject, I just want to talk about it for just a moment. Our object was to never open up a PayPal and get handouts from everybody. That was never what we intended to do. Um, we simply shared the story of our life and what was going on in our life. And there were several people who said, Hey, if you had to go fund me, you know, I'd really like to help out and I'd like to help your family out and I'd like to donate to the cause. And Stacy and I kicked the idea around in our heads and we were, we were largely against it, but you know what? I'm not against accepting help when you need it. And you know, this is a big step in our lives. There were so many different people. There were so many different people coming out of the woodwork so many different people coming out and uh, the sad thing about it is that they were previous supporters of the channel oh you guys are great I love you so much and the second the GoFundMe came out we got all sorts of hate mail and hate comments and and all sorts of stuff uh, people saying they couldn't believe how we were asking for handouts and how can you consider yourself a man asking for a handout to be completely clear? And this is on the record. Go through all of our videos. If you feel that way, we have never once asked for a handout. Never once. People offered to help and we accepted. And that's it. Done and over with. I just wanted to touch on that just a little bit. Um, if you're one of those people who you want to get on here and, and hate on us for for doing what we're doing you have no business being here go somewhere else this is this this channel is was not created to promote and breed negativity and that's just not what we're about we're about the complete opposite and we do what we can to to make the world a better place and and to the best of our ability that's what we do i've got no room for any of the negativity you can leave the comments all you want to they'll get deleted and and you won't be able to come in anymore. Just plain and simple. I'm tired of it. Was that my first rant? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay. I didn't intend for, for all that to come out. I just It's frustrating. And for whatever reason, these people are, are being negative. You always have to think about things objectively and think about what's going on in that person's life. And that's the thing about it. Everybody's got something going on. Everybody has their own personal battles and they're fighting their own demons. And, and who knows what people, what reason people have for doing what they do. Anyway, rant over. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. If you're interested in purchasing them, um, you can send us an email and we'll work out shipping and and all that stuff uh, Most likely be accepting payment through PayPal But you can get with us in the email if you have any questions about any items and we'll 
we'll try to do it this way um most of this stuff a lot of this stuff would sell really really well on ebay but i figured we would cut the middleman out and i'd offer it to you and you can get it for cheaper because i don't have to charge as much to cover the ebay fees and all that so it's a win-win for everybody if you're interested so if you see something you like just send me a message and we will work things out uh, we've really got a lot of stuff to deal with so we're not gonna we're not gonna show a whole lot today but uh, a couple of things here is this uh, Sony blu-ray player and uh, it's been used a couple of times but it's still basically brand new uh, we'll do like uh, we'll, we'll ship anywhere in the United States uh, anything outside of the United States we're just not gonna be able to do so we will call that uh, let's see we'll do uh, we'll do like 40 bucks on that shipped anywhere to the US there's a stack of Disney VHS over there we'd let those go real real cheap if somebody's interested in those send me an email and we'll talk about those these next two items they were actually items that we bought to resell from uh, thrift stores uh, what the heck is going on? A Simply Vera Wang purse. It is fox and snake skin. That's really nice, actually. Let's see. See if I can show you the inside of it. There's the inside of the purse. And the tag that's pretty nice um, this particular purse uh, let's see we will do 37 37 dollars on that shipped the next item is another purse of a different brand this is a Kate Spade this one is a little bit dirty but uh, if you know anything about Kate Spade um, her stuff has become pretty collectible and sought after in the recent years. Again, it's in pretty good shape, but it does need to be cleaned. Let's see if we can get a shot of the inside for you. I don't know a whole lot about like authenticating these purses like this, so I don't know. If you buy it, just assume that it's fake, I guess. You know, even this stuff like this, the Louis and um, all of the name brands, even the uh, even the knockoffs are pretty valuable so um, this is a super collectible purse from what I hear um, but it does need clean so we will do we'll do thirty dollars shipped on that one on the Kate Spade next we have a stack of GameCube games we have MVP Baseball 2004 Cars video game Fairly Odd Parents um, a Shrek video game. That one's in pretty bad shape. I don't think that one will play, but it'll it'll go in the lot too. Uh, let's see, what is that one? It's a Yu-Gi-Oh. We've got a Sonic the Hedgehog video game. Uh, the Mario Kart game. A Mario Kart game. Uh, that's pretty cool. This has actually got two discs in it. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, there is uh, oh, a Star Wars game too, and okay, yeah, Star Wars as well. There are nine games total on these, and uh, let's do twenty-seven dollars shipped on this whole stack of video games. Just know that none of them are in perfect shape, but most of them should be okay. They all do need cleaned a little bit, but uh, you know, aside from that, you should have some good games. So we'll do $27 shipped on the whole lot. We have uh, three Nintendo Wii games here. This is just uh, the little free one. I think it comes with your Nintendo when you, when you first bought it. Something like that. And then over here we got Star Wars and that one um we'll do we'll do both of these for like ten dollars shipped or all three of these for like ten dollars shipped and here we have some nintendo wii controllers 
we got two steering wheels and then we have three of these guns back here and one of the little nunchucks we'll do um, we'll do $25 on all of that shipped here we actually have another purse this is actually a Tommy Hilfiger purse pretty decent there's the badge Tommy Hilfiger there's the inside that one's pretty nice um, if you want that you can just uh, you can just send me an email and and tell me what you want what you want to pay for it it's nice could use a little bit of cleaning but uh, you know, if you want it email me this right here is a pretty cool item I think uh, sink front trays and what it is is it is a kit that allows you to turn those little just for look type of drawers that's right underneath your sink it allows you to turn those into something that's actually functional it's you know got this little thing here you could put uh, styrofoam or uh, you could put silverware or screwdrivers or whatever in those so that's kind of cool looks like it comes with the hinge and then the little trays so pretty cool I'll tell you what we actually have these in our camper you know in your camper there's always uh, a need for more space and it really comes in handy there well that's pretty nice um, do like 17 bucks shipped on that we have this really nice pet bed for sale it is brand new still with tags and these are some kind of a orthopedic something or other. I ain't sure. It's one of those, one of those things. Um, supposed to make your dog feel better. I guess for older dogs or maybe dogs that have arthritis or something. Um, these were originally seventy dollars. They're pretty nice. They've got uh, this middle piece comes out. They come out, but it's got the uh, the little plastic piece that keeps them together until they're sold it's got those in there those are pretty nice that is pretty nice um, we will do like fifty dollars shipped on that if you're interested send me an email do we have any Patriots fans out there the outside is a little torn but the actual hardcover of the book is in really good shape the normal if somebody wants this book we'll do like uh, We'll do like seven dollars shipped if you're interested. These guys are probably about to win the Super Bowl again, huh? How about some Louis for you? Got this Louis Vuitton wallet here. Uh, as a disclaimer, before I say anything else about this wallet, I don't know how to authenticate these things. I mean, it looks good. It looks like it's really good quality, but I just don't know. It does it's it's going to be impossible to get to show up on camera but it does have the little mark that's tucked in behind here it's not going to be easy to show on camera try to zoom in on it I know that means something I don't think on its own that that means it's authentic so what I'm gonna do is just say that this is a that this is a fake wallet I don't know that it is but just as a disclaimer we're gonna call it a fake a replica counterfeit whatever you want whatever you want to call it we're gonna call it that even the well-made replicas are pretty valuable um, if anyone's interested in this one um, I think these are going on eBay right now for like a hundred and forty dollars we'll do this one right here for 75 shipped anywhere in the US here we have another Tommy Hilfiger this one's gonna be a large tote large black tote it's in pretty good shape I think this one might be one of the older ones it can use a lint brush, but it's in good shape other than that. It's pretty nice. There's the inside of it. It's kind of dark. 
We'll see if I can lighten that up a little bit while I'm editing. And there is the badge. There is the tag. It's got the nice magnetic clicky madu right there. Um, if anyone's interested in that purse, we'll do it for uh, that one's going to be a little bit bigger and heavier. We'll say, I don't know, $27 shipped. And if I, I honestly don't know the value of some of this stuff, especially like these Tommy Hilfiger purses. So if the price is wrong on those, just, just email me and we can work something out. If you truly like it, we'll do what we can to get it to you. Somebody was asking about mystery boxes the other day. And check this out. I've got a bunch that I have made up that are ready to go. We've got three, four, five, six, seven. I think we got seven of the big ones and then one, two, three, four, five of the small ones. These are already made up and ready to go. I pretty much just have to figure out a better method for shipping because each one of these big boxes to ship is like $14 and the little ones I think they're six or seven. The goal there is we have to make sure that they're affordable to people but also that we're making a couple of bucks off of them too. I'm still kicking around a couple ideas in my head on that so keep your eyes open for that. This thing's pretty cool. This is probably pretty old, I think. And it does still work. You push uh, the planets and it tells you a lot of information about the planets. It's pretty cool. Real quick, we'll do the makeup things as well. Um, I guess these are just makeup cases. There's some that Stacy got out of the Ulta dumpster. Um, on these, I don't know what she would want for them. She's the one that took the time to clean these up and, and believe me, they were a freaking mess. <laughs> so what we'll do on these is I'll show them to you. And if you're interested, you can just send an email and discuss it with Stacy. This one's kind of cool. It's got the mirror and even still has the brushes in it and then and those two trays open up like that whoops they stick out a pretty good ways that's pretty nice again that is one of Stacy's finds that she pulled from the Ulta dumpster if you're interested in that send Stacy a message and I'm sure she'll work something out with you and I believe there's one more and this thing, I don't know, it says tester on it. I'm assuming it came with samples in it or something, but it's kind of cool because it's got the mirror inside and then it's got these little things that I don't care who you are. They are so much fun to play with. The kids have a pillow that's made of this stuff and like I catch myself just sitting there playing with it or watching a movie or something and I'll literally, <laughs> I'll play with that thing until my fingers get raw. Well, that's kind of cool. She'd probably let that one go super duper cheap. I imagine. Send her a message if you're interested. There's definitely more stuff in here that we could go through, but we'll call it good on that. And we'll just kind of do this as a test run and see how it goes. And if we had good success with it, then well, we'll show you guys some more stuff and, and go from there. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for checking out our little treasure room. We are going to go out dumpster diving here in just a little bit. And we'll go see if we can find anything cool. Put it, Put it up there. It it's gone. Empty. It's on its way to Patricia. This is the dumpster we pulled all the food out of. Is there anything in there? Hmm. 
not really seeing any reason to jump in there. Need a little bit of recycle. I don't know. We may come back for that if we have a slow night. This is probably going to be a pretty short video, but uh, we'll see what see what we can make of it anyway. See if we can find some scrap metal or empty. All right. Checking out this game store dumpster and pool shop. We find pretty good scrap in here usually. Uh, it's a Nintendo game. That's pretty cool. There's a big one, a big old bag of chicken over here. That's gross. Yeah. So I got some wires here and then a big old electric motor. It's hooked to this uh, pull pump, I guess. Sometimes I'll take pliers and. Here's some wire you can recycle. Okay. Holy. Sorry. <laughs> My hello. Damn, dude, you scared me. Just recycling. Hi. What are you guys doing? Recycling, man. <laughs> I thought, man, I know that's not the wind. <laughs> I called out to you guys more than once. Did you? We're talking in here. It's like a sound box kind of. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Take it. It's cut. It's a plug or something. Did you hear that, dude? TV. Yeah, I didn't ever hear him. That's funny. I know. He said, I called out to you guys. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I didn't hear you. <laughs> that was crazy. Is there anything in there? Um, I pulled out an Xbox battery. That was like, uh, I'm sure this is not. Huh? Oh yeah, they cut that one. I don't know if you can do anything with those or not. Here's some more cords. Is this HDMI cable cut? I don't know. I can't tell. Well, we can recycle the wires. That's cool. Yeah, that little boy scared me, dude. <laughs> I know You want to just take... Is there somebody else? Oh. Uh. <laughs> What's up, dude? TV. What's that? TV. I know, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we see that, but I think it... I don't know if we, we can... It looks damaged. We can recycle the cord on it, but that's about it. Probably some damage change. Probably. I got you, bro. Yep, yeah, no problem. If you repair that, it might be worth money. What's that? That, that. What, the controller? Yeah, the you, controller, you, you repair it, you might be able to sell it. You want it? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, you repair that thing, it might actually be worth something. Yeah. My dad's still got a PlayStation that he plays still, so. Is that a PlayStation 1? I think so, isn't it? No, that's a PS2. Are you sure? Yeah. That's at least PS2. No, that's PlayStation 1 for sure, right? Yeah, you didn't... saw the PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3, because that looks really? an awful lot like a PlayStation 3 controller. Didn't they have the uh, on PlayStation 2 and 3 the the proportional triggers, like where they had play to them, kind of like the Xbox? The third one, not, no, as far as I know. Okay, we'll take a look at it. I have Here's some more cords. All right, we'll take a look at it. Have a good one, buddy. Huh? What was it looking for? The uh, controller. Oh, 
No, no, no. Right. This is gross. I'm out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna this one. Really? Yeah. It's a car. It's a She's still looking over there. Okay. That dude didn't even throw anything away that time. He just came back to talk, I guess. <laughs> he was cool. I'm sure you noticed how the audio got pretty bad. That's because my microphone is laying right there on the ground and I'm about to step on it, unfortunately. So in that last clip, you'll notice that the audio got kind of bad. Or I guess it could have been bad the whole time. I don't know. I lost my microphone and when I finally found it, it looks like it had been either stepped on or ran over. So... I'm going to take it home and try to glue it up, see if that'll work, but for the rest of the video, the audio is going to be pretty bad. So I do apologize in advance. Oh, Messing in layer. Okay. Be quiet. How bad is this audio? Probably can't even hear me talking, huh? You got anything? Alright, I'm going in. Got it. That looks expensive. Alright, cool deal. What is that? to you guys if the audio is horrible I mean I already know it's horrible what I got. Oh, it's a pooper picker up or maybe? Alright, let's go see what Stacy found. What do you got? Huh? Anything? Gosh, I've been everything that I found so far in this truck. Hey, you got one of those too. You got one too? So you've been pulling stuff? Yep. stuff in the truck before somebody comes out. Really?
Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. Are you ready? I suppose. I mean, there's some more stuff over in here, but I think we are. What is it? Well, we can come back and dig tomorrow. Yeah. We'll do that. A bunch of daggone boxes in it. There's always so many boxes in there. And then the recycling one's over here empty. Yeah. Nothing? Huh? Nothing? No. Uh, nasty stuff though. This is a five below dumpster. We usually don't ever find anything in it, but it's always worth a look. Hmm. All right, so here is what we picked up for our night of picking. We actually found this about, I don't know, maybe a mile away from our house on the way home. Um, the lady said that it worked. It's just a little stinky. Uh, it's actually a little freezer. I thought it was a fridge when we first pulled up to it, but it's actually one of those upright freezers, which is awesome. Pretty cool. It needs a good cleaning, but uh, and once we do that, it'll be fine. It's a small one. It's probably about four foot tall. I'll go ahead and leave that thing cracked so it'll air out some. Does it smell that bad? And it smells like they had uh, fish in it or something. <laughs> and we found uh, this big behemoth right here. It's a great big old electric motor attached to like a pull uh, pump, I guess is what that is. That's a big dude. Um, some more miscellaneous uh, scrap stuff here that we found in there. Mostly it's going to be number two wire. That's an HDMI cable. I might keep that if it's not cut. There was a lot of stuff in that game dumpster, but oh, that's cut right there. So unfortunately that'll be scrap too. <clears throat> they destroy everything in that dumpster. The game store and the pool place share a dumpster. So... We normally go looking for that kind of stuff and then every once in a while we'll find you know some discs that are okay and in the pet dumpster um, that one's broke the one i grabbed was not where is it maybe oh yeah that thing was rolling around pretty good can you reach that one well it's new this one's a lot bigger isn't it Okay. Yeah, that's for like hefty boots. Okay, so oh yeah, they even got a chihuahua on this on the little one. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I know I picked ah, I picked this one, so I know it worked before we put it in the truck. Um, hey, I wonder if we could plastic welder. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I could have sworn it was. Was it good? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Most likely what happened is that big pool pump was sliding around back here and it crushed it. I don't know. Maybe not. Could have been broken the whole time. And then Stacy found two bags of dog food. There's this one and that one. They're just sitting right outside of the dumpster waiting for me to pick it up. Waiting for Stace. <laughs> um, then I grabbed a couple of these. I really don't know why I did because they're they're missing the little wire piece. But I guess you could make one pretty easy. Actually, we'll put that in that uh, gerbil kit we got. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I'm the hamster. Yeah, hamster. The hamster cage we got. Well, cage. Whatever. <laughs> Stacy found this uh, Jurassic Park deal here. She said it's missing the gate. It's <clears> missing <throat> the first Jurassic Park and two, but it has Jurassic Park three in it. Okay. Still pretty cool. Case. Yeah, that's worth like grabbing dinosaurs. just for the art. <laughs> it is for the box. Yeah, I like it. Me too. 
Uh, what else? I'm a bag of dogs, dude. Perform holistic. I don't even know anything about that dog food. I bet it so looks expensive. It right. I bet it is. I bet it's real expensive. Yeah, it's just out of date, and so that's why they toss it. Same as these two here, just out of date. I'm throwing away. If y'all do, if y'all do find pet food in the dumpster, be sure, and that goes for the same with with anything that's consumable that you pull out of the dumpster. Just be sure and check for recalls because there's a lot of nasty stuff that can that can happen with those recalls. Just be sure and and do your homework and make sure that what you're having consumed is is okay to consume before it happens and also we found these little games yeah it's a little cinderella game boy game here it looks like they were selling it for like 3.95 game boy advance <laughs> and then a nintendo ds it's a spongebob oh, game cool. if only we had something kane could play he would play the poo out of that <laughs> maybe we'll get it for him for his birthday yeah. and then just a battery pack for an xbox 360 it looks yes, like yes that's it cool is. we went through a lot of those didn't we yeah we did i don't know if it works or not but they're trying to sell it for like three bucks nice <laughs> so that pretty much does it for our finds it's a bummer this thing's broke oh yeah stacy found the glass topper to a fish tank yeah but it's a little broken definitely some glass in there back to the trash this thing will have to go well oh, yeah. here's another thing too i pulled out i forgot about oh, hey i pulled that street out street fighter too oh yeah, did you i pulled I out sure one did. of the other bigger ones too mm -hmm. no Lock i'm pretty restore. sure i pulled that one because i said it back here well you know what it's on camera so there you go rabbit recipe me and my brother used to play that game all yeah. the time i don't i don't think i can play it on sega though i don't know if it was for nintendo street fighter was a cool game though back in the day is that it? I believe so. Can of cat food. You found one can of cat <laughs> yeah, food? Yeah, one can. There's others in there, but I couldn't get to them. Where? It, it is a, a rabbit recipe. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Give your mom's cat the taste for rabbit? Yeah, why not? Where'd you find that at? That there was only one? It was in the pet store, but there was more of them in there, but I couldn't get them because the bags just kept falling okay. down. So, if it's not too bad of weather, maybe we'll be able to dig around and get the rest there was a lot of stuff in the dumpsters but we didn't want to spend too much time there because they were still open and like i don't know if you get caught by management and they tell you to never come back if you do come back then you get trespassed and you know at, at the very least given a citation we don't want that so um we'll go back tomorrow sorry we'll go back tomorrow and uh a little bit later after they close we'll really dig around in there get oh, the rest yeah. of that cat food and who knows yeah. what else this thing here that glass topper i'll bet you that's got some aluminum in it i'll just have to play in the glass for a little <laughs> while and get rid of it right. get some more aluminum out of it probably i wish it wasn't broke it happens yeah unfortunately oh well um i guess that's about it we got a couple more cords over here That'll be number two. That's already cut up and ready to go for number two. They already cut the plugs off and all that. Oh, Stace, come here. Whatever kind of wires those are. Looks like HDMI cable to whatever all those are. Is this the one you pulled out? Oh, okay. Maybe so. Oh, cool. I pulled one out. Does it say Game Shark on it? <laughs> it does. A game game well, I used to have a Game Shark for PlayStation. I guess this one's for Sega, it looks like. I have no that idea. That is so cool. <laughs> Do you know what a Game Shark is? No. <clears throat> so, like, back in the day, you would, like, put this in, and then you would put your other game on top of that, and there's all kinds of, like, cheat codes and stuff loaded in oh. on this thing, so you'd get, like, infinite health or whatever. That's cool. Yeah, it was the business back in the day. <laughs> Although we never had one for uh, for Sega, but we did have one for uh, PlayStation. I think it was called Game Genie. But yeah, instead of typing in all the codes, they're loaded up on there. It's pretty cool. That's neat. Yeah. We that's... should do that for everybody on every game system. No kidding. Instead of sitting there, like having to pause it and then look it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, help me with this. <laughs> Left, right, up, down, <laughs> square, circle. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that got any value to it on eBay. I would imagine so, right? I don't know. So that is going to do it for this trip. Um, if you saw anything in the video that you liked, that, you would, that you're that you interested in purchasing, please just uh, send us an email and we'll get it worked out. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for riding along with us. Thank you for all that you do for us. 
all your views and your love and your supportive comments. We do appreciate it, and that's what keeps us going, guys. With that being said, we will catch you on the next video. Thank you. Oh, that's so bright. You're like, I quit it. Say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Thank you.